In my first year of life, I already had four surgeries performed on me, which is more than some people have in their entire lifetime. So far in my life of 18 years, I have had 45 surgeries, and 44 of them are related to my disability, spina bifida. Very briefly, spina bifida is a condition where in the mother's womb, the baby's back does not form properly, which exposes the nerves to the spine and causes paralysis and loss of feeling. According to the EPA, or Environmental Protection Agency, and based off of an online inflation calculator, the estimated annual medical costs per capita in the year 2013 for those with spina bifida are as follows. Within the first year of life, the cost on average is around $50,000. From ages 2 to 17 years, the average annual cost is about $20,000, and from 18 years beyond, the average drops to just above $5,000. That's a lot of money before the average person with spina bifida even graduates high school. There are ways, however, to avoid all these costs, and arguably the easiest way, consuming an adequate amount of folic acid each day. Consuming folic acid prior to conception can lower the risk of birthing a child with spina bifida by up to 70%. It is recommended that any female who is within the age of 18 to 36 or the childbearing age consumes 400 micrograms per day through multivitamins. Sure, it's a struggle at times to be wheelchair bound 80% of the time and having to use crutches to support myself to be able to walk short distances, but I have also had very extraordinary experiences that I would not have had had I not been born with a disability. Some of these include playing for a wheelchair basketball team at a high school level who competes nationally, also being granted a special wish to go to a Carolina Panthers National Football League game and to be able to meet some of the players for my 10th birthday. This is just the beginning of the list of once in a lifetime opportunities I've had because of my disability. So in conclusion, Yes, there are many opportunities for people like me with disabilities, but it has a strong impact on everyone's lives, some positive and some negative. I never let my disability define who I am, and it is just another interesting thing in my life I get to work with.